When interpreting and drawing a NMR spectrum, you want to consider three things. First is chemical shift, which has to do with the location of the peak in the spectrum. The chemical shift is inversely proportional to the distance between the hydrogen and the electronegative elements. More simply put, hydrogens that are closer to any electronegative elements are more chemically shifted to the left. Second is integration, which has to do with the height of the peak in the spectrum. The integration is proportional to the number of hydrogens that share an identical chemical environment, meaning that the hydrogens that share the exact same distance to electronegative elements will share the location on the spectrum and their peaks will therefore be added to each other. Third is splitting, which has to do with the number of peaks in one cluster. This is dependent on the number of neighboring hydrogens, in this case meaning the hydrogens attached to the closest carbon atom. In addition, you have to follow the n plus 1 rule, meaning that if there are three neighboring hydrogens, there will be 3 plus 1 or 4 peaks for that hydrogen group. We will consider only hydrogen in MR spectra moving forward, meaning that we are considering hydrogens and their locations. With that in mind, let's try to draw propane. First, we'll consider what different kinds of chemical environment the hydrogens may find themselves in. Well, the hydrogens on both sides share the same chemical environment and will therefore show up at the same spot on the x-axis. This peak will also be the least chemically shifted since the hydrogens are next to only one carbon atom. From this chemical shift table, link in the description, we can see that the peak will appear around 0.7 to 1.3 parts per million. In addition, as they both have two neighboring hydrogens, the peak will split into three. The second peak comes from the group in the middle and will be slightly more chemically shifted, around 1.2 to 1.4 parts per million. In addition, it has six neighboring hydrogens and will therefore be split into seven peaks. Finally, to find the relative difference in height between these two peaks, we need to look at the total number of hydrogens in each group. The total amount of hydrogens in the side group is 6, while it's 2 for the middle group, meaning that the ratio will be 6 to 2 or 3 to 1. So our prediction is two peaks, one appearing around 0 0.7 parts per million, which splits into 3 and is 3 times as tall as the second group. The other peak will appear at around 1.3 parts per million, splitting into seven smaller peaks and being a third as tall as the first cluster of peaks. And would you look at that, we were exactly right. Now if you would like to try some examples where we practice on determining the number of NMR signals given the structural formula, check out this video.